rolling around at the speed of sound. Got places to go, gotta follow my rainbow. Hi, my name is Sylvie and I'm a black nerd. Hi, my name is Sylvie and I am a former fan fiction writer turned published author and I provide tips and advice to aspiring writers to give them the tips and tools they need to achieve their writing dreams. But I'm not doing that today. <laughs> I actually wanted to talk about something different. Um, recently, I saw the Sonic the Hedgehog 2 movie and I wanted to talk a bit about that. Um, there will be spoilers on this, so if you haven't seen the movie already, you may want to skip it until after you've seen uh, the second Sonic movie. And uh, before I go into it, um, if you do like these type of videos or if you just like my videos in general, I'd really appreciate it if you like and subscribe. And now that I got all that out of the way, um, I'll just tell you about the movie. Let's go. This isn't going to be a review. There's so many other people that do much better reviews. Um, Double Toasted, uh, Jeremy Johns, uh, Chris Stuckman. All those guys do pretty good reviews. You don't need to get a review from this girl. I'm going to go off on a bit of a tangent just about my thoughts on the movie. But I wanted to preface it with... Uh, the first Sonic movie. So I saw the first one, uh, I think opening weekend in February 2020, and it was okay. I mean, it, it in terms of video game movies, it wasn't horrible. So by those standards, it was probably the greatest video game movie of all time. But what stuck out to me about the movie in particular was a scene towards the uh, like the third act or three quarters into the film it's a little quieter scene they already had this big showdown with dr robotnik's robots uh, they get out but just barely and sonic's banged up pretty badly uh, especially his shoes so they go to they go to tom's wife's sister's house it's kind of hard to say but anyway um not the wife but the wife's sister house rachel and uh, she lives there with her little, I don't know, let's say 10, 11 year old uh, daughter, Jojo. So they go to the house and they're talking, like exposition, da 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 da. But then there's this really touching scene where Jojo sees the state of Sonic's feet and she goes and she grabs these brand new shoes that she got and they turn out to be Sonic's signature white and red shoes. And it's, it's kind of a like, uh, see, like, you know, kind of a nudge, nudge, wink, wink to the camera because it's kind of giving the origin to why Sonic has those white and red shoes. But you have to understand, like, I, when I was seven, like seven or eight, like really young, but like, I loved this character. <laughs> I really liked the Sonic character. And so just see, like, just seeing that, they wrote in the script that a little black girl gives Sonic the Hedgehog his shoes. I don't know. I just, I love that. I, I kind of geeked out hard about that. And I, and, and that's what I kind of love about this movie, or e even both movies. Um, you know, you obviously can't have a Sonic the Hedgehog movie without Sonic the Hedgehog. But I don't think there's been enough praise for the, the actual human actors that they've brought on to the projects. I think James Marsden is great as Tom. I think Tika Sumter is wonderful as Maddie. Um, and I honest, and I especially love uh, Jim Carrey as Robotnik. I think, I think he literally carries the first movie and what makes it what it is. So I know a lot of people give Sonic the Hedgehog 2 a lot of flack for adding all this extra human, all these extra human scenes into the script. And admittedly, some of the content could be cut. I mean, the movie's like like two hours long. Like there, there is stuff they could cut. But I, I did get kind of a tickle about some of the elements that they did add that they probably didn't need to add, but it actually added something a little more something special to the movie so i've already talked in length about james marsden and tika sumter they were good they're good parents to sonic um robotnik is great like you kind of expect these characters to be serviceable and do what they need to do for the script but in the sequel they make a choice to give some of the even lesser characters more screen time and in some elements, sometimes it doesn't work. Like with the, in the case of Wade, I mean, I could take or leave his scenes, but they do some extra embellishment with the characters of um, Agent Stone, played by Lee Majdub, and uh, uh, Rachel, uh, the wife, like Tom's wife's sister, uh, Rachel, played by uh, Natasha 
Rothwell. And I just wanted to just give a shout out to like, I loved their performances. Uh, Agent Stone as kind of the ultimate loyal lackey, basically like a like the Sonic the Hedgehog version of Smithers uh, <laughs> to Dr. Robotnik's uh, Montgomery Burns. It's, it's actually, I love the dynamic between those two and I'm glad that they play it up more. I think Agent Stone's character is amazing and I kind of like to see him in, in other works. Um, I know that guy, the guy that they get from Cheers that's in like almost all the Pixar movies. Um, the guy who plays Ham in Toy Story and I think he's like a random monster in Monsters, Inc. But he has like one line in most not all, but most Pixar movies. I want this Lee Majdu guy to be like, if they branch out and do like a Sonic or even a Sega multi-universe, a cinematic universe thing, I'd love to see him do cameos because he's got so much charm and presence. I, I made for some of the more enjoyable scenes in the movie. Also, I want to give a shout out to Natasha Rothwell. Now, there's been a lot of flack given to that weird third act where everything stops. Uh, like there's this whole wedding subplot that's kind of in the background but has this its own presence and like the Sonic movie just stops and it becomes this weird romantic rom-com slash heist film where Tika Sumter's character and Natasha Rothwell's character, Natasha's mad because she's just been catfished by her hus her soon-to-be husband who turns out to be a spy for gun. They have to go and like infiltrate the security and save Sonic and Tails. They have to do with all these weird men in black style gadgets and it's really funny it's weird like it, it's almost standalone like you you could see this happen in a movie that has absolutely nothing to do with sonic and so in that aspect i could see some of the complaints but like as a standalone i think they're quite enjoyable scenes i think natasha rothwell has a lot of energy and a lot of uh, charisma and i would love to see her in her own romantic comedy not nothing to do with sonic or sega just just give the girl her own romantic comedy i think she could carry it um i love the way that they gave the the human characters more to more to go on and more to play with in in, in this movie so yeah i don't really have anything to add in terms of like like, did I like it? Did I not like it? I liked it. Yeah, there's some questionable scenes, like the, the Siberian dance battle scene. Like, I don't... That, that didn't need to be in it. But I loved all the human characters. I thought they were great. Um, I just think everybody should go out and watch this movie. I really hope that Sonic 2 becomes, like... I really want the Sonic the Hedgehog 2 to be like the new Despicable Me 2 where the first movie was serviceable but it wasn't until that second movie came out where things really blew up and they, things were really going for for the franchise so I, I feel like we're on the precipice of something um I think video game movies might get a renaissance or they might be set back depending on how bad the Mario uh movie is like we're what we're probably like eight months away and we haven't seen a single trailer or teaser or anything so I don't know what we're gonna get, but um, I'm hoping it's good, and I'm hoping like Sonic the Hedgehog 2 is, is a sign that we're moving in the right direction. So I just, I had no reason to make this video. I just wanted to geek out a bit over what I thought about the movie and what I'd love to see if they do Sonic 3, more Lee Majdub, more Natasha Rothwell, please. Um, and yeah, I, I guess more Sonic and Tails and Knuckles and Robotnik, but yeah. Yay for the human characters, hoorah. Okay, uh, so I... Thank you for listening. I, I hope uh, I hope you go see Sonic. If not, go see it on streaming. Uh, support it. Support video games. We need more good ones like this. And that's it. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Take my lead. I'll set you free. Follow me. Set me free. Trust me and we will escape from the city. I'll make it through. Follow, follow me. Set me free. Trust me and we will escape from the city. I'll make it through. Prove it to you. Follow me. Oh yeah. Danger is lurking around every turn. Trust your feelings. Got to live and burn. Okay, I'm not going to do that.